Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, this video is going to be about this right here. This is the Daytona 1500 pound. Um, now, what this right here is that's really, really cool. This has a rotisserie for your engine stand for your engine. So we're going to be assembling this right here. We're going to be putting a 454 on there uh, that weighs roughly seven, 750 pounds. So we're going to be putting it together. So we're going to stick that on there and we're going to do a review to see how well this thing works. So stick along. Okay, now opening up the box. This is the first time I've opened up the box. So this is what you should see when you open up your box. Automatically, they got your name. You know what they always say? If they're proud enough to put their name on there, it's got to be a good product. Now everything is laid out on the ground. You can see this has stoppers for weight so that you don't roll around. You got your wheels that are cast. You got everything here, real heavy duty. Um, this right here is, as you can tell, what turns the engine. So you've got precise, rather than just having your pin to pull out, pull out, and you can just angle it, you know, so many ways. This right here, you can angle it all the way around. The Daytona gear driven rudder engine stand. So this is from Harbor Freight. I picked this right here up at Harbor Freight. Of course, this being 2023, I don't know when you'll watch the video, but in 2023, um, August, this sucker right here was $299, about $320 some odd dollars after taxes. So we're gonna be putting this sucker together and we're gonna be sticking that 454 right there, the block from the machine shop directly on there and see how it looks. So the first thing I'm gonna do, it comes with six of these right here which you'll have one go on each side of this frame here and then one there on each side. And then your two arms there that fold down. So you'll just have these little bitty tiny bolts right here and you just put them right up through the bottom after you pull your cap off. And once you've got them through there, sit that down on there and then put your lock washer in your nut. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and put those all around this and torque them down. All right, we've got our wheels on there also. We have our stoppers on the, the legs right here and here. So for the back section here, this is the top. We've got our stoppers screwed in all the way. This is our stopper. It's just gonna slide directly over that. And then you'd use your Phillips head, screw them on real tight. So wherever you got the weight of the engine on here, you can screw them stoppers down to the floor and that'll keep it from rolling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those on there. Okay, now one note to do on this is the front wheels of this right here in the front i mean that is the rear where the legs fold down is the front these front wheels are three inch the back wheels and the front wheels of your legs are three and a half inch so the littler three inch are the ones for basically the middle of the stand now we're going to sit our legs into our piece here you need these two pins and your two carter pins here just take your leg slide it right in there and you want your daytona on the outside so now you just got the front pin you got two pins here and here so you just line it up where you can go ahead and put your pin in and i've got the pins on that side facing the inside okay now we've got our legs in position now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to set this arm right over here right on top of these two holes and use these provided screws and bolts here the two the section of bolts washers and nuts to put that in place. So once it's in there, just slide that all the way down through. And then our other one. And then we'll put a washer on the bottom and then the nut and torque them down. Now we're gonna be putting these two braces in. Now the bolts that you use here, it come in a bundle. One of them is gonna be longer than the rest, as you can tell with that one. This is the one that goes through the top right here and it buttons in both sides. So, Using this little bracket here, you want to put it on the inside of it, and you're just going to slide it right there through the hole, through the other side. And then where the exposed piece is coming out, you can use the other one and put it on the other side. Now with both of these right here bolted up top, I'm going to take this right here and slide it in, get it right into position. And slide that all the way through there and do the same thing with the other side. Okay, I've got that one in, got this one in. Now it's just a matter of putting your 
washer and in your nut and torquing those down. Okay, we've gotten all of our bolts tight. Now we're going to address this part here for where your engine mounts. It comes with the supplied bolts, washers, and this right here is where your engine will be facing. The rear part of it right here, that's where the bell housing would have bolted. And that's where your boat's going to go through, and that'll be what boats your engine. Now the correct way to put them on, these right here, put the big washer to the outside, slide that through, put it through the hole, and then you want to put the washer provided, and then the nut provided, and that's exactly how that mounts on there. And it is complete. So we have all of our engine stand pieces on there, which you can just slide in and out to get the correct engine distance. You want to center your engine up with this because when you're rotating this assembly, it makes it a lot easier on the bearings if it's centered to where that's turning. So just center out your weight. And if you want to use it this way here, you can just pull your pin, pull that front pin out. And then for storage, that just folds up out of the way. And then you just take your pin and just run it through that and it keeps your legs from folding back down so so far i like it now we're about to take and bolt that 454 on there and that'll give us a, a little bit of a hint if it if there's any weight difference from right here what we're going to do right there where it's sitting we're going to take a level and we're going to measure with a gauge exactly where this is sitting right here and exactly where it's sitting here once we put the weight on it we're going to check it and see if it's towed it in at all Okay, this is on an incline, and it's angled back. So looking at it right there, that's with no weight on it. Now we're going to check it after we put a 454 on there and see if this right here has changed at all. Now we have a 454 sitting on here, and we're unchanged on our gauge. So there's no flex at all so far, and this engine block is quite heavy. So, she's on there. Now, if you want to rotate it, just take this right here, loosen up your side, and you can rotate it all the way around. So, that's it for the Daytona rotary engine stand.